Hi, for this video what we're going to do is um, we're going to use the TI Inspire to create a bar graph and a pie chart. Um, the Inspire graphing calculator has some extra features that a lot of graphing calculators don't have. And this is one of the things that I think is really unique about the TI Inspire. So I wanted to make sure that I demonstrated that you can um, create bar graphs and pie charts in your TI Inspire. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to take our TI Inspire and we're going to open a new document and I'm going to open a spreadsheet screen. So in my spreadsheet screen, um, I'm going to type in the information that is in the table. Um, so the first thing that we have is we have our type of, of lenses that are being used. Um, the first one on there was contacts. The second one was eyeglasses. I'm just going to shorten it to glasses. Um, both and you could put either neither or none, whichever way you want to say it. Um, so all I did was I took the first column here, the type of lenses, and I put that into my first um, column of my spreadsheet. And then I want to do the same thing with the second one. So I'm going to put in the frequency. I'm just abbreviating it as frequency. Um, and then I would do 40, the 570, the 180 and the 210. So I'm just putting in the frequency of how often this occurs. So now that we have all of our information put into our calculator, what we're going to do is I'm going to do Control and I. And all of our displays are under the data and statistics. So I'm going to choose option five. Um, and you can either put it, if you want a um, vertical bar graph, then you would click down here. If you want a horizontal bar graph, then you would click over here. I'm going to do a vertical and I'm going to use type as my first variable. Um, if you notice, it just puts a dot and says that there's one occurrence of each of them. We know that there was more than one occurrence. So what we have to do is we have to force it um, by going to plot properties and we want to add a Y summary list. And so basically what this is doing, if my computer doesn't freeze up on me, what we're going to do is I want to use frequency as the summary. So if you notice, it instantly goes ahead and gives me a bar chart. Um, and with this one, it's arranged in the order of how we had um, put it on our spreadsheet. If you want to make it a Pareto chart, what you can do is if you go to menu and actions and we can sort it, option seven. See if it's going to allow me to do this in option seven. And then you can do list order. That's how it did it, the value order, or you can do alpha order. So I'm going to do value order. And now we have a Pareto chart. So it's um, now put it from our highest category to our lowest. Um, we can also really quickly go ahead and change this with plot type. If we go to plot type and we can change it to a pie um, chart. And if you notice that it does tell us each of the categories. So there was 21% fell in the none, 18% um, in both, and 40% or sorry, 4% in contacts, and 57% in glasses. So this very nicely and very quickly gives you a graph of the categorical data. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.